Hi, my name is Shireen. I'm Raina. And together, we are the founders of Powerpump Girls. We're here today with Girls Meet Glow. In 2017, we started Powerpump Girls under the idea that women were better together. And that idea really just started with a brunch. Um, a brunch that we expected maybe our close friends of like seven to eight people to show up. Um, but out of nowhere, we got an overwhelming response. We had over 50 attendees. We had press that showed up. Things that we were not necessarily prepared for. But what that told us was that there was a true need for Powerpump Girls in Baton Rouge. And what that means is, is there's a whole community of women who do not have access to menstrual products. And so our organization, we step in and we provide access and also um, education in the source of like reproductive health and what that means to your body. You'd be surprised how many women are using things in the trash cans. For example, women who are living on the street, they're using Starbucks, napkins, socks, old t-shirts, and those things are causing health issues. And if you're on the street, obviously you can't afford health care. There are young girls who are missing days of school due to lack of access. And so if you put it like on a calendar, you have a 12 menstrual cycles a year and really you're in school, I think what, like nine months. So nine weeks out of the, out of the school year, you are not in class because you don't have access to healthcare products. This is a necessity. It's not a privilege. And so what we really try to do is to bring light and understanding to what that is. Um, and do you want to kind of maybe go into how? Yeah. So our main initiative and program Program with Power Pump Girls is called Secured and what that does is we provide education and resources in the form of products uh, surrounding menstrual equity so giving women and girls the products they need when it comes to having their period so whether that's tampons pads liners giving those to girls and women that may be in shelters or missing days of school recently released from prison um, giving them those products and then also just informing the community about this disparity in this issue we literally will have a conversation about menstruation and reproductive health with anyone. And so it really, what I found is that people, men went from being uncomfortable to being like, I'm prepared for what Shireen and Raina are about to talk about. And that's honestly what we're going for. Yeah. Social good is a big part of like our core and for us that just means doing the greatest good for the most amount of people yeah. and today that might be five people, tomorrow that might be 500 people, but just having a mindset of people and doing good by them, um, that can be with your funds, your time, your mind, your words, um, that's really the core and the essence of Powerpump Girls is spreading that social good and that mindset around our community. Don't be afraid to be unconventional or different or yeah. the youngest woman in a room or the one with the new idea that's never been heard before. Um, that's how we are in the position we're in now. We've been able to impact so many lives because we were unapologetic about being different and about voicing a concern that we knew was an issue and that other people were telling us were an issue but they didn't have a voice for it. And so. Don't give up on that, although you may hear a lot of no's, people may mock you or make fun of you. You are changing the lives of individuals and just by being you and being an advocate for them. So don't give up. Make that your everyday decision when you wake up is what can I do today? What five people can I impact? What one person can I impact? What one thing can I sell? Um, and really focus on that and start like it doesn't it doesn't start large while some people have that privilege and they can that doesn't have to be your story you can start very small and it can become the thing that you see in your mind and in your heart